Hello, I'm going to demonstrate Newton's first law of motion. This first law was first developed by Galileo, and he did some experiments in which he had a ball rolling down a track and then rolling back uphill hill on the other side over here at various levels of inclination. First level one, then two, then three, and then finally a flat surface, level four. He found that when he started the ball from a certain height, in each case, the ball would roll back up to exactly that same height. But in each case, going from one to two to three to four, the ball would travel successively further distances in the horizontal direction. That was Galileo's experiment. He concluded that if a ball were to actually travel along a horizontal surface at a given speed, that it would have to travel forever. It couldn't make it up to this height, no matter how far it traveled. Concluded from that, that if a ball is moving at constant speed without a force acting, that it will continue moving with constant velocity without a change in the motion. I'm going to simulate Galileo's experiment with this air track. Here I have a car that's free to glide on this frictionless surface, and we've reduced the friction to practically zero by having air come out through these little holes along here. And I have the track at a, at a set inclination, and I'm going to start the, uh, the car here from a given position, simulating the ball starting from a certain height. So here the car is going to start at a given position, and uh, we'll measure how far up the track it goes and how high the car uh, travels in a vertical direction. There the car traveled up to here. We're now going to measure that height, and we measure that height to be 12 inches. So with this particular level of inclination, we find the car goes to a height of 12 inches. If I make a more gentle slope, lower that end of the track, and now we're going to start with the same initial velocity as if the car were coming from the same height, rolling down the track. So here the car starts with this same velocity, and it goes up the track to a greater distance, measuring the height. Again, we find 12 inches, okay? Now I'm going to go to a still a shallower angle and bring the track down to this position. And uh, we'll do that same experiment, only now with less slope on the track, but with the same initial velocity. And we find that the car just almost touches the end of the track. If we measure the height at that position, we find again the height is 12 inches. Indicating in each case, the car travels to the same height, starting with the same initial velocity, but it travels further in the horizontal direction. Now, what happens if we level the track out completely and make it a horizontal track? We do the same experiment, starting with the same initial velocity, and we observe that the car travels along at constant speed and would presumably travel forever in the absence of a net force and at constant velocity. I can illustrate that with an even slower initial velocity showing that the car will continue along at constant velocity in the absence of a net force. If the car is at rest, it will remain at rest. If the car is moving, it will move at constant speed in the absence of a net force illustrating Newton's first law of motion.